read it again? Read it, um, read it, again. Yeah, read it. it says, uh, Revelation 11 and 8, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Now, our Lord was crucified in modern day Egypt because this image of Cesare Borgia was put up. Right. During the Renaissance period, the rebirth period. So you crucified the Lord's image by putting your nasty ass pasty face image up as being the Lord. When this is promoting leprosy and basically you, you putting white supremacy up as you being God. Or you being the children of God. So if you're supposed to be the children of God, then everybody else is like Goyim or whatever, man, you know, or, 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 or heathens. And so you're going to be destroyed for that. Yeah, that's good for the book, man. Um, Matthew chapter 23, verse 9. And call a man your father upon the earth. Yeah, we're not, call, we're not supposed to call no man father on the planet earth. Meaning the Pope. You got people calling him father or making it seem like he's anointed from God. Father molestation, man. Yeah, he's a father molestation. Because that's what goes on in the Vatican. That's right. They molest little boys. That's right. They pop little boys. Pope Francis and all of them. And, and through the spirit, all right, this information is out there. It's called sexual magic, all right, which is propagated by the warlock that they worship secretly, Aleister Crowley. All right? Aleister Crowley is what the cat, what the Catholic Church really worships. They don't worship the most high on the right-hand side. They worship the left-hand side. So they do all types of, of spiritual wickedness, man. Okay? That's what goes down in your Catholic churches. And you niggas and spicks that are a part of the Catholic Church, yeah, how about you are gonna destroy you with a sword destruction, man? That's right. Okay? Yeah. What's the perfect way to mask up wickedness? Is you as you code it with like to make yourself seem righteous, a smoke screen. So that way you can um you can throw people off. That's what they do. That's like a cover, man. That's like a drug dealer who got a legitimate business, man. If the most of his money is coming from the drugs, but that storefront is a front. Well, the, the um, Vatican and all of that, man, they they, they worship Satan, man. That's says, a smoke screen. It says, neither be called master, for it's, it's one, it says, neither be called master, for one is your master, even Christ. Yeah, one is your master. The master of this world is a Yahweh shot. Because his, his father gave him order of all things. That's right. Not the fucking Pope, man. That's Not right. the fucking Pope. That's right. Not the Pope. Yeah, so there was this Pope, man. He's not, he's not, he's he's a Satan, man. He's one of them um, unclean spirits, man. That's right. Here's the book of all. Um, Exodus chapter 23 verse 2 says thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil yeah you're not supposed to follow a multitude to do evil you're not supposed to follow these politicians Obama the Pope you know they all um do they all um bring in, brought to bring about a bad time man about a bad time, man, I knew we order. But first, they're going to bring out situations to lead to that. Famine, on a global scale, you know, it's going to be um, people cannibalism. <laughs> Neither shall thou speak the cause to the client after many rest to judgment. Yeah, so basically, you're not supposed to be following these um, so-called leaders, man, because they're they're puppets. They're they're set up. 
Real power don't want no one knowing that they got whatever they have. That's the source of their power. You go under the radar. That's like someone in the criminal world, a real master doing his crimes. He don't want to be found out, man. He want to seem like pure as ever, man. He don't want to get caught, man. You got a legal operation going on. You don't want nobody knowing about it. Like the legal hit. Yeah. He might just sit back in the background, keep his mouth shut, just do it, tell somebody else to do it. Yeah. Because the people that's out in the front, they're easy to pick on. They're, they're easy to take out. So a real mastermind, he's not gonna, you're not going to see him. You're not going to see him coming. Yeah. You're not going to see him just doing it. You know, that's, that's how he does well, let's, it. Let's blow it down to some niggas that's in the hood. You got a drug dealer, a real drug dealer, don't want no women knowing what his stash houses is or where his money is at. Because why? She might get mad and go send the niggas to come get him. Rothschilds don't want nobody knowing this, their, their, um, the links to their stuff, even though the information coming out on them. You got the last one. Um, it says, uh, let them, um, Second Thessalonians, chapter 2, verse 3 says, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there be a falling away first. Yeah, yeah, let no man deceive you. That day shall not come until there be a falling away first. We fell off the nation of Israel. The northern tribe, the Latin tribe, Ephraim, on down, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, the southern um, tribe, fell off. We went into slavery, man. We fell. We fell from our um, glory, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now falling away first. So now, that's why only the nation of Israel could be delivered. Has a chance. Everybody else is living in their kingdom right now. No chance of hell, man. Yeah, they got no chance of hell, man. They had their time, man. They had their time. It says, and that man of sin shall be shall be revealed. Yeah, the man that sent Esau wasn't revealed back then. You Caucasians, y'all revealed now. Y'all being exposed for all the wickedness you've done. Oh, they're still doing. They're not goes. It's not a day go by, and y'all not trying to pass some legislation to still to do harm, mainly on the nation of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Y'all always coming up with ways and um how to um trap us up. If we have our bag on the on the subway um seat, you know, you got your leg on the subway seat, you fall asleep. If you sitting on a crate, oh that's private that's um, private property. You got one of them store shopping carts, going to jail, or you getting a ticket or both. Why in a bike on the sidewalk? Spitting on the sidewalk. Yeah. Like, um, you know? It's all about money. What next? Pretty soon they're gonna govern how people walk. Or you got on the sidewalk, I mean, you gotta walk this side, yeah. and you guys gotta walk on that side. Yep. They're gonna make up some shit like that. You, I know you got eight people seen that somebody I look like come like, yeah. We gotta get them to we gotta do this, you know? Alright, that's that's it, bro. Right. Says the son of perdition says who opposes and exalts himself above that is called the opposes. What do you mean when he means to oppose? It means you're going against. And one breath, the so called white man can say God doesn't exist. The Big Bang theory, Darwin's theory was correct, it's all about evolution. And the other, in the other breath, you can say he is God. Then you have some fucking. Like a brother said, the king of pedophiles, a pope, going out there trying to be the most humblest man out there, but he nothing but he nothing but the devil himself. Alright? Because he opposes the most high, then he's saying if the most high does exist, then he is the most high. Alright? Because obviously he has the power. The so-called white man has the power to do whatever he feels like. It. This is his world right now. We just we just right now we are occupying in this so-called white man's world right now. Ain't nothing we can do about it. That's why we're catching nothing but pure hell. This is not our empire. This is not our rest. Keep going. It says, uh, who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called the Most High. Or that is worship. Or that is worship. When you go think of worshiping, you think of a, 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 a great place like the Roman Catholic Church. When you got a whole shitload of gods. Because when you go to the Roman Catholic Church, the Vatican, 
You got it. It's like an X shape of all these different types of saints. All that, all that's showing you that they worship all these other demons, man. That's all that is. And all that, sh the way it's shaped up, is all go back to paganism. All right. So they they put in the forefront that this, that the Roman Catholic Church is a truth, which is not. But they'll show that in the forefront, and they'll show you that they, they can worship whatever you feel like it. It's an open game. Cause they'll go and all everything that stems back to to the um back to Babylonians, some of Ramses, Tom Moves, all that. It all goes back to that. But they, they, the way they put it on the forefront, like this this man, that's that's the son of man, that's Jesus. All right, and he got his mother being worshipped. All that goes back to paganism. All right, so they're, op they're openly telling you right then and there they don't they don't worship the Bible. They worship ancient tradition of men. Which when you think when you think about the Roman Catholic Church, all it is is a universal a religion. They all worship on their one guidance. It's on the same. All right, so this demon that come out here in New York who just popped his his evil presence over right here. Shit's about to happen. Such, man, something major is about to happen because tomorrow night we got a blood moon slash a, 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 moon, a, a lunar eclipse. All right, and it's gonna be a super moon out all things. So it's gonna be like three events in one. After this, so this, this Pope just stepped his foot down here. So something major is about to happen, man. The Lord's about to bring some major judgment down here in America. It could be the financial crash. It could be uh, martial law. It could be a famine, it could be a disease outbreak. Something major is gonna happen, all right? Those Muslims games, they still get rocked, all right? And Allah is still, he's still nowhere to be found, man. He's been on a milk crate right now. They still looking for him. Because he didn't help them out when that fucking crane fell in their ass. He didn't help them out when those, what, 717 of them got trampled down, all right? So all these other gods, they're not showing up, man. But we don't. Says, sitting in the temple of the Most High, Keep going. showing himself that he is God. Showing himself that he is God. Ain't the so-called white man present himself as the Most High every single turn? Does not he feel like he has to be the guidance, the, the, the beacon of light for every other nation? They got to follow what he says? All right? Only a God would do something. Only a, a person that pretends to be a God would do something like that. Oh, um, Keep going. It says, remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. Yeah, because why? Because Paul was with those people in Thessalonians and he was breaking it down to them. Because it was unrevealed to those people at the time that who was the so-called, who was the devil at the time. And everybody knew it was the Romans, but then they didn't see it the way we see it broader in a broader sense, man. It's an actual so-called white man, which is the Edomites of the Bible. They are the devil. They are the seed of the devil. Alright? That's why every place that they step on, they bring instant death. Alright? They wherever they go, death follows them. Not life, the death. Alright? You know? It says. And now you know what withhold it that he might be revealed in his time. Yeah, he might be revealed in his time because back then they didn't know the so-called white man was the devil like that. All right, they knew he was a wicked species, a, human, a, a subhuman, but they didn't know how wicked he was. When he came into power, 2015 on right now, you see his wickedness to the extent, to the utmost level, man. And one breath he said that the Bible is the law of the land. In a second breath, he will, he will give homosexuals rights. Then in another breath, he'll say he can't bully people, he can't beat up your wife, but yeah, he will go sacrifice children, women, whatever the case may be. This man is the pure devil, man. Everything that he does is death, all right? He's a hypocrite, the natural born hypocrite. He's playing a front right now for everybody to see that he's a godly man, but in reality, he's nothing but the devil. And that devil with that's within him is, is scratching, is clawing out his skin, man. He's about to let loose an, uh, an abomin a wicked abomination on everybody, man. Go ahead. John Psalms 55 and 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. Yeah, because only a smooth ass, slick devil will come up to you on some peaceful things and put your guard down and stab you in the back in instance, man. 
He's the greatest opportunist that's 